Welcome back, everybody, to another edition of Retro Tech. You got it. Retro Tech, where we bring the best and the baddest and the oldest. Retro Tech. Exactly. Into modern day. Retro Tech? Retro Tech. I got my beautiful wife with me, and today we're looking at a classic Beckman Industrial 360B multimeter. Retro Tech. You got it. <laughs> Did you know, darling, that Beckman Industrial actually started off with a name called National Inking Appliance Company? Retrotech? Yeah, okay, you can stop saying Retrotech. <laughs> no, but just what you told me to say. <laughs> Beckman began working for Bell Laboratories way back in 1923, and they founded the company Beckman, as we know today, in 1935. The first commercial instrument that Beckman designed for uh, the, the masses, basically, was, get this, are you ready for this? Yes. It was a pH meter. Wow. Yes, back in 1935. Okay. Designed by Beckman himself, the pH meter measured the acidity or alkalinity of almost any solution combining electronics and chemistry. Can you imagine time. that? That was amazing. That was definitely a thinker who was ahead of his time. He created a product that was truly unique. Afterwards, he created another instrument called the, can you read that, honey? Spectrophotometer. Spectrophotometer, that's it. Whoa, what a name. Spectrophotometer. And Try to say it ten times. Exactly. I can barely <laughs> say it once. And the rest is history. So here we are looking at a classic Beckman uh, design from the early 80s known as the Beckman Bench Multimeter. You know what? We can even touch it. Not just you can even touch it. it. Yeah. Cool. Exactly. But you have to make a reservation. I God, you gotta love vintage. Eh? It just has that classic hue of, I don't know, what do you call that color? Golden? Golden. It's golden. Oh, definitely. Why didn't I think of that? This, by the way, can do a maximum of 10 amps AC-DC and up to 1,000 volts. So it was pretty sophisticated even back in the day. True RMS. And the neat thing about this is, look at that. We actually have that RMS, AC, and AC plus DC. Very funky. Another neat feature is if you pop the lid. Pop the lid. Look at that. We have an actual little housing here so we can keep all of our goodies. And I don't mean cookies. I was just about to see, you can actually put something. It can, like a cookie jar. Them, you, know? Know? you have your Beckman industrial warnings, uh, operating labels, the whole nine yards. So kind of neat. And uh, there's the date back there, 1985 Beckman Industrial Corporation. Loving it. Assembled in Taiwan. And as you so eloquently pointed out, it is assembled in Taiwan. Taiwan. All in all, it's a pretty sleek unit. Um, actually fairly small by today's standards in terms of bench multimeter and this one was uh, powered only by batteries mm. and we'll take a look at that in just a bit but uh has your standard rotary selector switch ac volts ac amps dc amps and dc volts and resistance and this is a working multimeter as well so i will do one or two tests quickly just to give you guys an idea of how it performed here we have it hooked up to that five volt dc reference and look at that Wow, 45 plus years later, 4.99 volts, 0.1 of a volt off. Yeah, it's pretty precise. Pretty right? precise, yeah. really accurate. And it has not been calibrated in uh, like 40 plus years. Awesome. And look at that selector oh. switch. Obviously it's manual ranging, not an automatic uh, multimeter, but uh, still you had pretty well most of the ranges you needed back in the day, including that diode test way over here at the so bottom. Just assemble the unit, look at that six honking diesel batteries to power this bad boy i'm telling you they weren't messing around back then so to get that enclosure opened we had one two three phillips screws and this pops right off actually they gave you a spare fuse as well here in that uh, little holder assembly but uh yeah what a honking thing to have to change wow i'm telling you but uh if you take a closer look and look at that they had shielding wow good stuff they knew what to do back in the 80s doesn't cost anything and there it is keeping your readings uh, nice and clean from any third-party interference uh there's our nice big busman hrc fuse over here and as well all three of those screws have nice big brass threaded inserts so no worries about uh, opening and closing the top you're not going to do any damage with a lot of bench multimeters not a lot inside um, we have a lot of recess here with just nothing just dead space uh, the majority of the instrumentation is here up against the cool front of the housing the fact that the batteries um, they have these plastic housings for them so when you pull them out they just didn't go flying you could easily change them by putting back in the plastic cylinders so that was kind of cool 
and uh, you think about it, six 1.5 volts equals one nine volt. And yeah, look, they even use basically a nine volt attachment here to bring that juice over to the PCB. So it's an actual nine volt holder. Instead of using a nine volt battery, they use six 1.5 cells. They even had some trim pots here for your uh, temperature as well as your AC DC voltage. So uh, yeah, you had some user calibration here. Very cool. Big Honkin selector switch here. A lot of mechanical going on as well. Uh, all the logic circuit is buried beneath that. Unfortunately, I just can't get in any deeper without doing some damage. But uh, I must say, yeah, this is really, really sweet. There you have it in a nutshell, the classic Beckman Industrial 360B bench meter for your vintage pleasure. Hope you enjoyed this one. It was great having my lovely wife along for the ride. What'd you yes. think? What about the meter? It's awesome. For me, it's very cool that something that all can be performing as and great. Yeah, it's good. Well, hey, look at me. <laughs> yeah, that's what I actually thought too. But. Thanks for taking this sojourn down Vintage Lane. Plenty more coming. Plenty more coming. I said Plenty that. more coming. And he said that. <laughs>